Isn't he weird? Look at his eyes. I, that's what I'm saying. It was just like, he's so weird, I, I fell in love with him as soon as I saw him. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are here at Bedford Street Antiques today, right around the corner from our shop, and we are going to head in now and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, so we walked directly in the door, and I decided to check out the cases first and foremost. <laughs> the first thing I noticed was this beautiful vase up here. It is a Royal Dalton vase from 1931. They have it dated, but... It's $490, so it's a little bit outside my price range, but it doesn't mean I can't admire it. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that glaze. It almost looks like flames. It's really cool. From there, I moved on, down through the cases. And I found this. Well, first I found this on this console set here, which I thought was pretty cool. I feel like it's more um, mid-century. Mid-century, maybe? I don't know. It is neat. Thought that was pretty cool. But up here, for $65, they have this Vetro Artistico Murano. I thought those were really neat. $65 for that set. They've also got the stretch glass. I have a ton of stretch glass up for auction right now. And so I'm, I'm hesitant to commit to any new pieces of stretch glass. Um, I had bought a huge lot of this stretch glass, and uh, I love it. This topaz is vibrant when it's put under black light. Oh, this is interesting. Loetz type art glass tobacco jar. Loetz? Loetz? I don't know how to pronounce that. That is really neat looking. I love that. And hey, look at this. This, this is Murano as well. 20 bucks. So we may have to get a key for this case because I think, I think we're going to get in here and just snatch up that art glass. This is not a sticker I'm familiar with, so Vetro Artistico. I don't know. It's not, it's not a sticker I'm familiar with, but I'm looking at how many pieces there are there. One, two, three, five. Five pieces for 65, and I'm thinking, you know what? That's pretty pretty decent and the fact that the even the leaves on the pineapple are not broken that's pretty impressive to me so we're gonna snatch that up for 65 holy smokes that's new look at that goodness gracious that's phenomenal Every time I come across this lattice, you know, it's always very thin and I'm terrified to ship it, but this is really thick. It's like an ashtray. And by the way, she is just the sweetest little thing I think I've ever seen. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Michael's not here to like, to bounce off of, but I'm pretty sure if Michael was here, he would agree with me, probably. I still have yet, I have not committed to getting a key to the cases yet. But I'm, feel, I'm feeling a key is in our future. And I would just go through here and see what all I could find before I commit to it. This is an interesting paperweight. I kind of like the swirls in that. It is 25. Oh, this is Lalique. Look at the sparrows on that. That's something I would hope to find at the Goodwill. Like, if I found something like that at the Goodwill, I'd be feeling pretty good about myself. All right, you have to get get it get a load of this thing in the Mac. This weirdo cat. <laughs> like it's like I'm like, is that is it Italian? I want to say yes. It's just so weird. He's got a cork in his mouth. I think he's probably a liquor bottle of some sort. Mm -hmm. 78 bucks, which I feel like is reasonable because he's so weird. He's a black cat. We're coming into Halloween. Now is the time to buy and sell your black cats. All right, where are we at? Oh, isn't he weird? Look at his eyes. I, that's what I'm saying. 
it was just like, he's so weird, I, I fell in love with him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> so is that a decanter? I think so. What did they say? I, they usually know what they got. Black glass cat, marble eyes. Quirk. Yeah. But he's just so weird. I'm like, I have, I have to have... The other piece I was looking at, is that turtle back there? Okay. That turtle? Not, but I couldn't see the price on it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. No chips or cracks. I will take it. And I'll also take that cute little lady right there with the umbrella. Oh, and she's sweet. Is she a bell? I wasn't yeah, sure. that's no. what I was looking for. Yeah, I thought maybe she was a bell. 1956. Yeah, no, she's delightful. I'll take her as well. They look like the same times. Yeah, that's really copper. He has some really awesome. He has amazing stuff. From. It's phenomenal. I'm like, oh my, I'm drooling. And Are then, you getting this stuff? Yes, all of the fruits, all of, all of them. I can help you carry. <laughs> all right, so we walked right in the door and dropped a whole ton of money on some really cool stuff. Now we're gonna continue shopping. We're gonna see what else we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Because I just like now I'm like at this high. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we found all that stuff. Beautiful, stunning Murano. That is like, that is the top of my list, Murano. It's not just your generic, it's, it's pretty darn good. So we're, we're gonna see what else we can find to top that. I'll tell you what, that, that bird plate right there comes pretty darn close to topping it. <laughs> but it's $250. So it's a little bit too spendy for us, but I love the birds on that. And it is crown, crown ducal. And I'm sure every time I say that, I pronounce it wrong. Crown ducal. I'll work on it, I promise. got all the chintz all the chintz not just some of it all of it here's some more last time we were here we got some really cool perfume bottles this is Silvestri um, and I actually just got around we just got around to listing them so <laughs> They just currently got listed. We had the really cool, I think maybe it just sold, um, but it shows, you know, some stuff we, takes us a while, that is a stife, right? Yeah, stife, I'm like, wait, no, that's not a Christmas ball. That is a stife. $10 for the stife's turtle. He is kind of darling, isn't he? He's missing a shell though. I feel like he's a naked turtle. <laughs> Little naked fella, he needs a shell. <laughs> I almost wonder if he was made this way or if he's supposed to have a shell and he's just a little naked guy. He's pretty cute though. <laughs> oh goodness. Wallace Nutting. A maid and a mirror. All right, and here we are at Paul's booth. You knew it wouldn't take very long before we ended up at Paul's booth because it's usually, usually where we start. And Paul is in here every single week stocking and adding new inventory. So um, I love coming in here and seeing what new things he's added. These look like Royal Beirut, but they are made in Japan. They match some of the Royal Beirut we recently picked up. But I'm holding on to that until Halloween because I feel like they look an awful lot like pumpkins. And I, I just think they're dar darling for Halloween. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of that stashed away at the shop waiting for the opportune moment to list. Oh, this is fun. What is this? 35 purple chenille bedspread. Oh goodness, I don't need it. I feel like that's a good price on it, I do. I'm gonna walk away from it. A lot of you are like, how can you walk away from these things when you know they're a good deal? I have a lot of inventory at my shop. Some people even say that I'm a hoarder. It's not the truth. I just know in my head what I have at the shop. I don't need any more linens or textiles right now. So we're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this for somebody else to come, come along and um, fall in love with it and really appreciate it. And that's okay. We don't need everything. We do need this. Just kidding. It is cool though. That's really cool. I would consider getting that for my nephew. Oh my, look at this. 
the John Perry mermaid. Oh, the puppy's mad. A pair of brass copper angel candlestick holders. We sold one of these recently. I don't think it was paid for, <laughs> so I don't remember if I relisted it or not, but we actually sold one of those recently. Wow, that's beautiful. And there's earrings to match. This is also Paul stuff. Looks like a Hudson Bay. Hmm. Looks like this booth is quickly thinning out. I don't see any sales on it though. There's been a lot of stuff that I've wanted out of this booth over the years, but it was just a little beyond my price point. Oh, and there is some nice cloisonne. Dragon on it. Dragon poison a bowl. I'm not sure of the age on it, but I love that it's got dragons on it. The last few poison a pieces we had sold really well. I see there's a little damage on it, but look at that dragon. You know, it's fifty dollars. Little I'm a little scared. But I think I might take a shot on that because there's been some pieces of cloisonne that I did not expect to do as well as they did, so why not? And yes, I came back to shut it. Oh my goodness. Those little boys have seen things. <laughs> well, some of you may recognize this booth. We uh, poke through here quite often and we usually find Pretty good stuff. We've got some angry kitty cats up here. <laughs> kind of cute. I love, I love the angry cats. Let's be honest. Oh look, it's an American Girl doll. Juliet has so many American Girl dolls now, it's silly. And the one that I tried buying her the other day was Samantha, just because I grew up with Samantha and I couldn't win her. She went to 140 and I'm like, I'm not paying that much for a Samantha doll unless she's new in the box. It's just not happening. <laughs> this is kind of cute. I like that. 20 bucks. I just don't know about pen cushions. And these are paste. So, yeah, soft paste. Creamware. Those are nice. Those are old. They've They've been doing some rearranging in here and they've brought some new stuff in. I can just tell. What is this? Bud vase. Studio pottery. I like it though. I can't really read it. I like the colors. Unfortunately, it does have chipping there on the top because I don't know what it is about that red clay. It is only $20, so it's a good deal for somebody walking in, but trying to resell that and having to disclose the chips, I feel like that's gonna hurt me. This one's interesting. If I pick this up before, this is a moment of deja vu. Pre-1978 face. I feel like this is deja vu. I've done this before. <laughs> That's a nice German piece. Green vase. She is fancy. Look at that Moriage set. Dragonware. Hand painted Japan. That's a nice set. What does the tag say? 45. Do you want cream and sugar? I may buy that because that's a really nice set. I mean, it is hand painted Japan. It's not Nippon, um, but it's 
really heavy moriage and it's got dragons on it. I guess today's the day of dragons. We're just gonna call it a dragon. Oh look. Um that is a patty car pat car what is it? Car right? Isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Pat car what am I trying to say? I think you know what I'm talking about. Eight dollars. It's kind of a small one though with the tulips. We actually have one of these at the shop. It's a larger version of the tulips. We have one. That's why I'm setting it back down because we have one currently. Um, but I am going to definitely be grabbing this set for 45. I feel like I can double my money on that. And on, on pieces like this, you know, yeah, the investment is 45, but when I'm doubling it, it's totally worth it. It's when I'm investing $4 and I'm doubling it that it's really just not worth it for me. All right, well, there were some pieces in here that definitely got my attention as well. And um, I know that this vendor is always willing to make a deal. So I might try to bundle here because it's quite a few pieces and they're a little bit more spendy. Um, this first one is this perfume. It actually has the Murano label. It is $75 there. But I love the contrast of the silver flakes with the red. So that right there is a contender. <laughs> Here, let's see if I can bend down while holding this teapot. And look, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Down here, we have this vase here in the corner. It's this iridescent art glass. It looks amazing, as well as the piece behind it, which is also 85. So I'm hoping to bundle them, but we will see. We'll see if it works. All right, so the vendor actually came up and she was restocking there as I was grabbing stuff. So she gave me 20% on the perfume bottle and that iridescent vase. And I also got a little um, micro mosaic pill box as well, which I didn't, wasn't really planning on, but it was only $10. So three items. Um, I left the other vase behind. I just like it. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't, wasn't sure about it. So, um, yes, perfume, vase, and pill box. And now we're going to venture through this booth here. actually pulled some nicer jewelry pieces out of here before. I've got a really beautiful piece of um, beaded Murano. Oh, my phone's ringing. That's a nice piece. What is that? Malachite. I like those little pearls on there. It looks like copper. I feel like my, my allergy, my metal allergy would revolt against that. All right, well, I am going to end this video right here and we will be picking up tomorrow where we leave off and hopefully you guys stick around until then, but I will see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.